Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about What you will learn today, convert decimals to fractions with terminating form of decimals. In converting terminating decimal form into fractional form, I will be teaching you easy steps that you need to follow for you to convert decimals to fractions. So let's have the first example. Change 0.3 to fraction. Kung mapapansin nyo, siya ay nasa tens. Ibig sabihin, i-co-consider natin kung ilang place ng decimal meron siya. Since tens siya, we need to multiply it by 10 over 10. So, yung magiging denominator ng 0.3 ay 1. Again, i-multiply siya sa 10 depende sa place value ng decimal. Kaya naman, 0.3 times 10 is 3. 1 times 10 is 10. So, 0.3 is 3 over 10. So, since reduced form na yung 3 over 10. So, let's have another example. Change 0.75 to fraction. So, that is hundreds. Kaya naman, i-multiply natin yung numerator at denominator by 100. So, that is 0 0.75 times 100 is 75. 1 times 100 is 100. So, 75 over 100, there is a common factor. So, hahanapin natin yung pinaka-highest or the greatest common factor para makancel natin at makuha natin yung reduced form. And then, the common factor is 25. So, that is 3 times 25 over 4 times 25. So, wahanap tayo ng greatest common factor. And then, cancel natin yung 25. Then, the lowest term of 75 over 100 is 3 fourths. So, 0 0.75 into in fraction is 3 fourths. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. So, let's have example 3. Change 0 0.625 to fraction. Siya ay thousands. Kaya naman, i-multiply natin ang numerator and denominator by 1,000. So, that is 0 0.625 over 1 times 1,000 over 1,000. That is 625 over 1,000. Kapag napansin nyo na masyadong malaki yung numerator at denominator, pwede naman hanapin muna yung mga prime factors para malaman natin yung greatest common factor, katulad ng 625. The prime factors are 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And then, nahanapin din natin yung prime factors ng denominator na 1,000. So, what are the prime factors of 1,000? 5 times 5 times 5 times 2 times 4. And then, ano yung mga common factors niya? Yung 5 times 5 times 5. At kapag binultiply natin yung 5 cube, the answer is 125. Therefore, the greatest common factor ng 625 at 1,000 ay... 125. Kaya naman 5 times 125 over yung 2 times 4 ay 8 times 125. Ano ang greatest common factor na ikakancel natin para makuha ang lowest term? Ikakancel natin ngayon yung 125. Kaya naman ang final answer natin ay 5 eighths. So 0 0.625 is 5 eighths. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. So, let's have our last example. Change 2.35 to fraction. Iset aside muna natin yung whole number na 2. So, ang ating uh, decimal ay 0 0.35. So, that is in hundreds. So, that's why we need to multiply it by 100 over 100. So, kukopy lang natin yung whole number na 2. Then, 35 times 100 is 35 over 100. 
Ngayon naman, kukuhanin natin ang greatest common factor ng 35 at 100 para makuha natin yung lowest term. And that is 5. So, 7 times 5 over 20 times 5. So, the greatest common factor na ikakancel natin ay yung 5. So, cancel natin ngayon yung 5. Therefore, our final answer is 2, 7 over 20. So, 2.35 converted into fraction is 2, 7 over 20. So, ganun lang po kadali kung paano mag-convert ng decimal into fraction. Tatandaan lang, multiply yung numerator at denominator depende sa place value ng decimal kapag tenths. So, 10 kapag hundreds, 100 kapag thousands, 1,000, and so and so on. So, I hope na nakuha niyo yung mga easy steps kung paano tayo mag-convert ng uh, decimal into fraction. So, ngayon, it's your time to have your practice, uh, practice test by getting your pen and paper and answer these five items. So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.